हेलो फ्रेंड्स नासा एंड फायर फ्लाइज ब्लू गोस्ट थर्ड एंड फाइनल लूनर ऑर्बिट मैन्यूवर इज कंप्लीट गोस्ट राइडर्स परफॉर्म्ड अ 16 सेकंड बर्न विद आरसीएस थ्रस्टर्स टू एंटर अ नियर सर्कुलर लो लूनर ऑर्बिट सून इट विल परफॉर्म 19 सेकंड डिसेंट ऑर्बिट इंसर्शन एट 100 किलोमीटर प्रीलून टू बिगिन डिसेंट टू द ब्लू गोस्ट्स फाइनल डेस्टिनेशन मारिक्रिज्म ऑन 2 मार्च 2025 This footage is captured by Blue Ghost spacecraft shortly after the second lunar orbit maneuver. In this footage, it capture Earth rise and Earth set. Blue Ghost mission one will deliver ten science and technology instruments to the lunar surface as part of NASA's Commercial Lunar Payload Services Initiative. Upon launching on 15th January, Blue Ghost is spending approximately 45 days traveling to Moon, allowing ample time to conduct health checks on each subsystem and begin payload science. Live coverage of landing jointly hosted by NASA and Firefly will air on NASA Plus and here on this channel starting at 2:20 a.m. EST approximately 75 minutes before touchdown on the moon's surface following the landing NASA and Firefly will host a news conference to discuss the mission and science opportunities that lie ahead as they begin lunar surface operation the time of briefing will be shared after the touchdown Let me share you some detail about the spacecraft or the lander. Standing 2 meter tall and 3.5 meter wide, Blue Ghost is designed for stability with shock absorbing feet, a low center of mass and wide footprints. Blue Ghost's core components including the panels, struts, legs, harnesses, avionics, batteries and thrusters were built using many of the same flight proven technologies common to all Firefly launch and orbital vehicles. enabling lower cost and improved reliability the payloads on blue ghost mission 1 will help advance lunar research and conduct several first of its kind demonstrations including testing regolith sample collection global navigation satellite system abilities radiation tolerant computing and lunar dust mitigations these investigations will help pave the way for humanity's return to moon the data capture will also benefit human on earth by providing insights into how space weather and other cosmic forces impact earth among other valuable research during the final hour of descent blue ghost uses bison based terrain relative navigation and hazard avoidance to measure the lander's position and identify craters slopes and rocks before selecting the final hazard free target within the landing zone blue ghost's rcs thrusters pulse needed throughout the descent for a soft landing Blue Ghost will land near a volcanic feature called Mons Lettri within Mare Crisium, a large basin located in the northeast quadrant of the moon's near side. Formerly an ancient asteroid impact site, Mare Crisium was created by a volcanic eruption that flooded the basin with blastic lava about 3 billion years ago. This unique landing site will allow Firefly's payload partner to gather critical data about moon's regolith geophysical characteristics and interaction of the solar wind and earth's magnetic field 